out of Eastgate Bros, a new decade is about to start. Well, depending who you talk to, some whack jobs think it started last year. Better, what do they know? In terms of skateboarding, the last two decades has been like an electro renaissance for skateboarding culture. Ever since that movie, Back to the Future, people have wanted to electrify their skateboards and zoom through the air. Well, we're not quite there yet, but we have certainly worked out how to electrify them and they are definitely zoomy. During the last 20 years, we have seen major technological innovations. And during this time, we've witnessed the birth of a new genre of skateboarding culture. Electric skateboarding was born and we've watched it grow into quite a mature industry. However, without a doubt, the last decade has been the most impressive, the most technological innovations. It's been epic. In those 10 years, we've seen plenty of startups fail and plenty of them succeed too. So a big thanks to all those entrepreneurs, all the engineers, all the dreamers, all the Kickstarter backers, the pre-orders, Everyone deserves a big thank you for getting us through to where we are today. Back in 2010, electric skateboards weren't that good. There were no dual drive boards. There were no lithium ion batteries. The boards on the market at the start of this decade looked like Carillion battleships with wheels. Let's be honest, they were embarrassing. Traditional skateboarders would never be caught dead riding those things. Heavy, expensive, slow, shit. They were far from what we have in modern electric skateboarding today. Let's be realist for a minute. If it wasn't for electric skateboarding, those old timers from back before 2000 wouldn't still be skating today. Their knees are blown out and they just wouldn't be doing it. You actually do need to be pretty fit to ride a normal skateboard and a lot of us old timers just can't hack it. How do I know? Well, guess what? I'm one of those washed up skateboarders from back before 2000. In fact, I was skateboarding from sort of around the late 1980s. Thanks to electric skateboarding, a long forgotten pastime from my youth can now be enjoyed. It's a practical, affordable, fun thing to do now. And there's nothing better than cruising around with my four-year-old daughter holding on to my front leg for dear life as we go sightseeing through Brisbane City. Let's talk about now for a minute. We are drawing the curtains closed on another decade of skate culture. And I don't need to remind any of you, the year 2020 has kind of sucked for everyone. I know all you eSkate bros are pumped to see a new year and kickstart a whole new decade of electric skateboard awesomeness. So let's take a moment and do some predictions. What do we think the next decade of electric skateboard is gonna look and feel like? Honestly, I feel like most of the difficult engineering problems have already been solved. Compact, powerful, reliable batteries, got them. Dual motor controllers, belt drives, gear drives, direct drives, and yes, Hub motors can go up hills. Rechargeable and reliable remote controllers, got them. Rechargeable and compact LED lighting systems so we can shred at night when the streets are empty, check. We got stylish and practical protective equipment so when we crash at 50 kilometers an hour, we're still in one piece. The last 10 years of electric skateboard innovations has been sick for us eSkate bros. I'm not greedy. If innovation stopped dead right now, pretty sure I got everything to make me a happy e-skater for life. What more could I want? <clears throat> okay, well, eh, I guess there is some room for improvement with motor design and engineering, specifically hub motors. I, I do think we can probably like squeeze out a little bit more performance there. But what other engineering challenges remain? Maybe like more apps so we can share our rides and share our stats on social networks. But yeah, I just kind of think most of the hard work with the hardware is done. My vision for the next decade is that electric skateboarding is gonna be more about the art of riding, the style, and less about the science and the technology that's required to build and assemble really awesome electric skateboards. The hard work's already been done, my eSkate bros. I say we spend the next 10 years just getting out there and riding more. What do you reckon? Sounds good.
No? When I first started making electric skateboards in 2014, I spent way too much time in the workshop grinding pulleys and modifying trucks and modifying motor shafts and trying to assemble enclosures. Like, too much time building, not enough time riding. E-skaters of today don't really need to worry about doing all that nonsense. Like, all the best parts, they're sort of available. Like, you can buy everything you need and it all sort of fits together and, I mean, the complete boards that are available are awesome. Like, things have come a long way. We don't necessarily need to try to build everything from scratch anymore. This next decade can just be dedicated to getting out there with your mates and your family, exploring your city and country, and just having fun. Just imagine this, the whole next decade, it's dedicated just to riding and riding style, creating new tricks for electric skateboards, racing and sporting events, the community, the culture, the general advancement of human movement efficiency in urban environments. A decade that sees electric skateboards and other lightweight electric vehicles gain broad spectrum acceptance with lawmakers across the globe. I want these devices to be recognized as more than just a plaything or a hobby. They're an indispensable, practical, affordable tool that allows humans to be more efficient with their movement, to live a more meaningful existence in these overcrowded metropolises that we keep flocking to and calling our home. So to celebrate this new decade of electric skateboard awesomeness, we're throwing the biggest ever eSkate Tech giveaway of the decade. And it's only for eSkate Bros. We have an amazing lineup of sponsors who have all contributed awesome prizes. These sponsors are renowned for making some of the best, most affordable electric skateboards on the market. We have a stack of complete boards and DIY kits from some of the most successful companies in the industry today. Okay, a quick shout out to the sponsors. We've got Meepo, Backfire, Vareal, MaxFind, Xway, Egovan, and there'll be more announced as time goes by. This is a massive giveaway, so make sure you get onto the website and become an eScape Bro today. Every month, there's gonna be prizes given away. So head to the Electric Skateboard Builder Forum now and read the guidelines on what it's gonna take to make the cut and automatically go into the draw to win these sick prizes. The prize giveaways are going on all the way through to the middle of 2021 and maybe even a bit longer. Even if you're not a winner, you still get one of these sick iron-on logos just from becoming an eScape bro. It's up to you now. Get yourself to the forum and become an eScape bro and help us kick off the next decade of electric skateboard awesomeness. Peace.